so today we are going to solve 69 difficulty level 69 problems so i'm solving the, these four problems from here to here these four problems 741 e to 742 so here comes the first code a set a sequence a is said over the matter as follows a sequence a is given to segment x element of the same is at least one segment each segment is a group of consecutive elements of the sequence for each segment its length is determined next to it either to the left or right to the left the resulting sequence b is sent over the matter for example we need to send the sequence and to suppose it was split into segments as follows so one two three one two three these are three segments then we would have the following sequences so one one three two three one okay so length will be one right then left and then left okay it's if a different solution has been used the sent sequence might have been different okay the sequence b is given could the sequence b be sent over the matter in other words is there such a sequence a that consisting a to send it over the network that could result in a sequence b okay so we are just given a sequence it is named as b so let's say like it is from here to here let's say it has number let's say b1 2 2 b3 and all okay that's not a problem so what we do is we split it in from here to here here to here here to here many split will be done then oh sorry this is a by the way right this is a and all these are a1 a2 a3 okay now this is a1 a2 a3 are the elements so we split this in some of the sequences then uh, i make sequence b so how b look like b look like if size of is like s1 s2 s3 and all right s5 there are five sequence i made and then it will be something like s1 the elements of s1 s2 size of s2 the elements of s2 or s3 size of s3 okay so we have to find that can we come to a to any a not similar to a can we get a a or can we get from any a this b we have to find this so what can i say that let's say i have sequence b1 b2 b3 b4 so this is basically a dp dp simple dp problem so i start a dp indexing from zero this is my dp one two three four and five so i say i'll say so zero is true i will say dip what dp represent so dp of i if so dp is a boolean of size as same as the size of b and if dp is true that means from index 0 to i sorry 1 to i or up to this index from 1 to i this index this string can be derived from any a or can be passed over network as question says okay if dp of i true then from 1 to this index this sequence can be passed over a so empty string is always passed over a so this is always true now let's say i am reached to any point at this point so first of all i check this point for this point so i can assume that this if the previous one is true if this one is true 
this one true means what true means that here uh, the value is written means that up to here the string is completed uh, like string is completed over in the sense this string can be passed over network okay so here is a complete string so i have to start from this string so let's say this value is 3 okay so i will say let's say this is the size of next three element then from this index to 3 so 1 2 3 plus 3 so 1 plus 4 3 is equal to 4 if this is the size and previously all are true then and i will um, uh, assume that this will be the size of the string then so then next three element will be the string of this size then this will be true then dp of that will be the i plus b of i is true this will be the true so this is true okay. because the up to the n minus 1 is true that means this uh, is a complete string or this string can be passed over network so we take we can assume that this can be the size or this is true okay this is when we assume that the side is taken before the string but there are two possibilities the side size may be after the string also okay so the second probability possibility is that i am at index like at say three and i will assume that this will be the size if this is the size then which string uh, the like and its value is let's say two b of i value is two so this two that means there is a string of size two earlier so this is the string of size two one and two and i will check if it is true that is like up to this point if i can send over over the network this is up to this string is true that means i can send over this network or this can be derived from any any string a and i will assume that this will be the size then up to this then this will be the true okay so the next one will be this one when i take the size that this is the size written and this is written just right to the string or yeah so if this is a string so there are two possibilities we can write here then the string will be there this will be the left and this will be the right okay so when i will assume if written left then of this size string will be then that will up to that string that is true that is this one and if this is right and if i assume that the size is written on this side right side then let's say is three then uh, i will check after this like take out the string of three size let's say this is the three size and after that i will see if it is true then th this can be true okay so i can add this much string to the to that one so so there are i come up with two equations that is i will say if dp of i minus one is true that means up to string can be up to i minus one string can be taken so i will assume that the size this one is the size and dp of i plus b of i is true i will say that or i will make dp of i minus b of i so let's say the it is at index 3 and value is the value is 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 so 1 2 so i have check for the uh, 2 then i have to take out the string of size 2 then i would i have to check this one so this will be uh, i minus b of i 2 that is minus 1 i b of i minus 1 and if it is true then i will make dp of i is equal to true that's it these two equation i have to apply and then i will check if dp of n is good true if it is true then we can take over it from any any array if it is false then we can't so 
hopes you understand so let's write the question for the uh, code for it so what we are doing we giving and Let's say I will take them from one that will be easy because I have to do minus one thing like this thing. This uh, sorry, this one if you have minus one, so I then plus one and I say zero is always true because this is empty and empty one is always true. Then I is equal to one and Plus. So there are two possibilities. So first one is TP of i minus one is true. TP of i minus one true. Then TP I will take DP of i plus P of i is equal to true such that. I will say that I will plus B of I is plus than plus one. Otherwise, it will be showing some error. Oh man, so this is actually okay. Next one is if I minus B of I, I minus B of I minus one is greater than equal to zero and is true then i will dp of i minus p of minus is true then i will say dp of i is equal to and if dp of n is true i will say yes p of n else we will count okay Yes, yes, two nodes. Let's make it. Yeah, working fine. Setting some debug. Here we go. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is the pre program meeting on the line. So, n people are live on the coordinate line. The ith one live on. At the point xi, they want to choose some x node, the midpoint. The i person will spend xi minus x node. That is the distance between the midpoint and the currently where the staying, the current person is staying, to get the mid meeting place. Okay. Also, the i person needs t i team to get dressed. Okay. So in total, he will be need the dressing time plus the time to reach to the destination or the midpoint. So, mode of y is the absolute value. These people asked you find position x node that minimize the time in which all n people can gather at the same place at the meeting place or okay so what we are given is that let can okay wait a minute let um, so consider this is a number line this is the x-axis or the number lines from starting from zero or minus one or whatever and we have an array x x will be given x is a of a type integer and Telling them where the people live or the houses of the world, the people. Let's say it will be x1, x2, x3, whatever it will be. x1, x2, xn. Okay, this is x3. And we have another array that is t. And ti is given the particular person need how much time it will need to for dress up. Okay, that is ti, that is t1, t2, t3. Tn. So let's say so if it is that T R is not given, let's say if by the chance by this uh, if it is given that that uh, they are just starting from their home, they are do, don't need to dress up or something like that. So it will be a like a classical problem. What the class problem is that 
we are just given the x1 x2 x1 x2 what is the where the house is or, or where or the place is the point where people gonna start and we have we have to find the end point or the midpoint or the destination so the best solution is short all of them and the best solution is that is the midpoint that is the maximum plus minimum by two max plus min by two that will be gonna be the our midpoint so i'm trying to, what i'm trying to do i'm trying to uh, convert this problem into this problem into this type of problem okay so what i'm gonna say is that let's say this is the mid problem uh, this is the mid place that is zero and currently the person staying at 0.2 that is the x is equal to and he require one minute to dress up so total time it will take to reach to this to the destination is two plus one that is three minute that much time this person will take to reach to that point so i'm gonna say can i convert to something like that there is another person that is live at point three and he need zero time for dress up and so when i see that how much time it will gonna take so this will be the t1 so i will say t2 it will gonna three minutes to cover from the place three where he live or to the midpoint that is m that is will be three plus the dressing time that is zero i think and then i see that both of them are same okay so if for the places for them that the that are away from the that are away from the mid place or that are to the right or to the this is the right side to this side or right side of the meeting place then so i will consider them that they are staying at place xi plus ti okay with taking the dressing time zero same solution okay i will just converting same scenario and so the second case if the person is living on this side okay let's say person is so person is living let's say at minus two and same one minute is taken for the time so i will say so reach to the time it will be it will take three minutes okay i will consider that another person is living at minus three so this person is gonna make gonna make to the this point at same time so time will be equal to three minutes so if it is less than then i will say it will be converted into xi minus ti okay if it is one person is staying to the left of the meeting point then the point will become xi minus ti then if a play if a uh, uh, let's say pip, uh, a person or any boy or girl will start uh, from this minus three xi minus ti or start from uh, xi and taking ti time this will be gonna be the same time it will reach to the destination in the same time in the both the cases okay so for some cases it will be x minus ti and for someone that is our greater to the those people who are living to the left of the midpoint that will be gonna x i minus ti those who are living on the right of the uh, midpoint that will be x plus x i plus ti okay so both of the different and for the solution what i'm gonna do i will take the minima of from all the people and i will take the maxima and the answer will be by two i will say if i take like for every point that is x i and it will take ti time for every point i will gonna make two point xi minus ti and xi plus ti and i will say take both the, these point and the answer will be come out after the considering for all point two points will be the answer will be coming out will be same that will be not what i want to say is that it will like uh, if it is smaller then this will be the answer and i will say this will not affect our answer what we have trying to what our answer is i want to uh, come out the minima point and the maxima point that i want to say 
so i am saying this will not affect our minimum or maximum and if it is towards the right then this will be the answer and this will not gonna affect our answer so let's see how let me prove how it not gonna affect our answer so let's say the meeting point is here the meeting point at let's say y or i will say x naught that is given in the question and this person is staying at x i and t i so and so what i am saying is that convert into two places so the two one will be x i minus t i and another will be x i plus t i okay okay now let's see how much time it will take to come to here from so first path is from here to here so time will be uh, x naught minus x i plus t i and from here to here time will be x naught because it is less than then it will be like it is the mode now x minus x2 so it will be open this way so x minus because these are the less than so x minus x2 this will be the point and for this one that will be the ti time for the dress up plus x naught minus x1 so can you see that this will be the same and this will so this is the same which are far from the the midpoint and this is towards the midpoint and you will notice that from this side we will want to find the minima and from this side we will find to maxima okay so so here we can see that this is not this will not gonna contribute in the maxima in the minima sorry okay because this will move towards the meeting point same here if it is x x i then this will be x i minus t i and x i plus t i so this will be the maxima and this will not contribute to the minima and maxima this will not contribute to any of the point okay because these are moving towards the this point okay. you will take an example like let's say me take an example okay and not contributing to the answer because at every point it will move towards the point one will think okay this will point maybe towards this th that side let's say it is x i plus t i will be crosses the this point that is the midpoint that might be gonna be happen so but what what i am trying to say is that but if let's say this point is here but it not gonna be the it not gonna affect the uh, the minimum or maximum because it it will come closer to the meeting point not going away from the meeting point if because the answer contributing to our answer will be this one because our answer when the answer will become when it is maximum so this maximum is come from this one and this one okay so other two person will not be like other two points will not affect gonna affect our answer let's say we have these are zero let's see one example so one point is that hang minus two and taking one minute hang two and taking one minute so x i minus t i will be one point similarly this is x i minus t i this is x i plus t i that is three this is the example we are going to take and uh, this is x i plus t i this is x i minus t i for the lower this will work for the upper this will work if this is left right this will gonna contribute in the answer this will not gonna contribute in answer this will not this will that will be minus three and th this one is minus one so you can see the answer will be the minima is minus three and maxima is minus three and both of these are not contribute in any answer you may see that the the other two will not gonna affect our answer okay because it moving towards the meeting point not away from the meeting point so let's code it okay we have it done so shit man oh my god i think i'm not open with this oh man i need to open again if i need to 
solution which one is i think this is not okay we go okay let me open this okay let me use all of this sorry for the mess so wait so okay so i need to set up so for tools or what view yeah sorry three columns and two column will be we have to group and group will be next two column okay yeah here we go is open open file we need to hear input where is the input text here we go and here we go now output output where is output here we go mm, let me close these files okay so what we have we are taking int n and we have two arrays x first one is x so we have vector f of n a of sorry x of n size n and another vector is vector is empty okay here we go now for int i equal to 0 i write that n i plus plus c in x of i and now i'm gonna take the lesser term for all of these that is also of size n then i'm gonna take a of i okay so i need to make another vector let's say a so i will say new positions new positions and for all of these two i will say there will be two new positions that will be new position dot pushback uh, xi minus ti and new position dot pushback xi plus ti okay now what i find i need to find the minima minima will be i will say it is int max i or i will say n for zero and maxima maxa i will say it <laughs> maxa it will be zero okay now for okay i will say int i equal to zero i less than sub okay and post or size i plus plus and minimum minima is equal to minimum of area or n for of the current element same goes for maximum x is equal to max of x and four of i okay now what we have to put so in result will be minima plus max by 2 so result will be multiplied by the 2 and it will be 0.5 it is odd if rest result divided by 2 is equal to 1 it is odd then i have to output 0.5 that is 0.5 and then i have to output and i so i have to find 0.5 okay yeah here we go so answer will be 0 2.5 or oh, 2.2 2.20.5 what the heck is going wrong oh wow sorry sir 0.5 because i have to write only 0.5 yeah here we go yeah here we go okay So here we go with the e point that is counting rectangles. So we have a rectangle, the i rectangle has height, hi, and width, wi. So you are asked your queries 
of form of hs ws hb wb for each query output the total area of rectangle you or that can fit a rectangle of size hs and width ws while also fitting in the rectangle of height hb and wb in other words print hi wi in such a way that okay it will be in this form okay please note that if two rectangle have the same height or the same width they can't fit inside each other okay also know that you can't rotate ro rectangles okay 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 i need to total area which can be fit for each queries we are given h query h i w i that will be an array and from this array we have to find out for each query i'm gonna fit in this array and i will output the result of the sum of area of all the triangle which gonna fit okay so what are the ranges so h i w i is so you can see that yeah n and q are little bit bigger or i will say 10 to the power 5 so we can apply n log n or we'll say n of o and o of n time form in this will be the time complexity in which we have to perform but you can say h i and w i is near is very small that is 10 to the power 3 so we can easily apply n square so if we are just gonna wanna to find out in terms of h i w i so we can easily go with n square complexity or we can use 2d arrays so for 2d arrays let me say that uh, let's we have 2d array okay yeah i am thinking correct yeah this is 10 to the power 3 we can definitely use 2d arrays so what i am thinking is let's say this is an array oh sorry two dimensional array so this is one two three four five six <coughs> and that's six comma six one two three four five six this is six comma six so i will say if i have vector of five comma six of a rectangle of five comma six and another this is height is let's say five width is six another in each query we are let's say is three comma two or let's say two three comma two okay so height is three and this is comma two so how many areas will gonna fit so in this i will say 3 comma 3 will gonna fit no this will gonna not fit so of same width, this will this okay let me wait so we have let's say we just for example sake i am taking that these two are the points these two are the rectangle point that 3 comma 2 and 5 comma 6 so we need to find out so i will say these will not gonna fit these will not gonna fit smaller than not gonna fit oh yeah then we can do, we do that yeah mm -hmm. these all will not gonna fit but and similarly for this in these these will not gonna fit so i will say only this are gonna fit yeah i can easily find by using 2d dimensional array and but it required 10 to n square complexity for each for each te test case and how many test case i have i have 100 test case mm, n square that will be 10 to power 6 10 to the power 8 that not gonna pass maybe or we can do something like prefix sum because these are not changing oh yeah we can do something like prefix sum so what we gonna do we for each array i will gonna sum it and this array will store all the sum that is smaller than that this okay then the answer will be 
so this will not come on the answer will be i say okay so yeah i got the answer so what we gonna do but so we can say that the hi and wi are of range 10 to the power 3 so we can easily use 2 dras okay or we can use n square multiplex but p is also 100 so it will be give 10 to the power 8 and it might not be gonna pass might not gonna be pass okay okay so what we do is we want to do in of one time for each array so for each query so we gonna wait a minute put i think 10 to the power 8 but test case this will be gonna n square for each query that will be q into t that will be 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 5 into 100 that will never gonna pass sorry for each query this will be n square so we have to do each square in o of one time so we can use what we gonna use so we use time of uh, something like prefix sum so you may be heard of, of, of prefix sum of array okay this is similar to 2d arrays 2d arrays also have prefix sums okay what prefix sum is uh, if this is our array for 2d array can we consider this one yeah we can this is fine okay yeah okay yeah. so if so first of all let so i will tell you how we gonna find the prefix sum okay so i can see that using prefix sum we can do that so our problem is problem is how we gonna find the prefix sum so let's say this is the point for this we are gonna to find prefix sum prefix sum of i comma j what it will be so i say this will be equal to i need sum of all these elements from here to here okay i can say i already calculated this one i already calculated this one so this give me some of these elements so this is equal to prefix i comma j minus one now i will say if this one this one that is i will gonna sum prefix of i minus one comma j so i minus one comma j is this one this prefix sum and i j minus one is this prefix sum okay so this is j j minus one and this is i minus one but you can see that this area is rotated twice in this array also in this sum in this i i comma j minus one we are using this array and similarly in this one we are using this array this array is used twice matlab this array is sum up twice so we have to subtract this so prefix minus prefix that is i minus one j minus one prefix i minus one j minus one so this array will be our prefix summary now come to the point how we gonna make our answer so for our answer i will say i need let's say the same problem same question and these two are the points this is the first point and this is the point so i what i need i need the sum of this array that is smaller than this this array so same line i can't same width i can't take same height i can't take similarly same this same i can't take so only this array i need to calculate the sum of this array so how i gonna so i think this will be pretty clear for you for all of you okay so what will be the answer so i will say if uh, this is i comma j let's say this is or this will be h1 
W1 and this is H2 W2 okay so we don't need this one and this one so let's say we are just moving to this so this one so this one will be prefix of so result we are finding result for M1 for H1 W1 uh, to H2 W2 these two sub rectangles okay so prefix sum will be prefix of H minus 1 and W minus 1 so this this area this whole area okay this whole area this will get so first of all I have to subtract these all the sums that will be minus prefix of the next one that will be h2 comma w2 now let's see which area is remaining so now you can see that now in this array if we okay like if i'm taking the sum of from this point h1 minus 1 or w1 minus 1 this will take all sum of all these all these mm, all these uh, what say rectangles of height and width and i will sub this one but i need to also subtract this one uh, this one and this one okay first of all though this point will be i need to subtract this all of this because this sum is already in this if you are taking this point so this sum is already there and this area is already there so i need to subtract this one so if this is h2 minus 1 and w sorry h1 minus 1 w1 minus 1 this one will be h sorry this is h2 comma w1 minus 1 and this one will be this one is same is h2 minus 1 h2 minus h1 minus 1 my, and this is width is same that is w2 so i have to subtract prefix of um, what is that h1 minus 1 comma w2 and what we have to, and similarly this one that is prefix of h2 comma w1 minus 1 so when we are subtracting this one so this area is subtracted twice and we are subtracting this once more this will be thrice so if we are gonna add this so this is gonna subtract this area this is gonna subtract this area because this area subtract this area one time and this uh, this portion will also gonna subtract this area second time now if we add this one then will it will remain one time so we have to add this so yeah this is the answer for each query this is the answer and we also know about the summary let's code this okay so we have t n comma q n q so number of rectangles and q so what we gonna find is we need then n point will be s1 w1 so first of all i need to take a vector vector so i will take here so i will take long long this will be same this will be long long and one is the array that is of maximum maximum i need to define the point and maximum is equal to 1 e k power 3 plus 10 let's say same for this i need to some prefix sum that will be maximum comma maximum or we have okay set up and let's say i'm defined here only okay because if we define it outside that then we have to make it zero all the time i will gonna say vector is will be good so we have otherwise we need to do something like traveling over the over the area and making all the cells zero and one one is sorry this will be long long 
this will be good so now down and i need another one that is prefix that is prefix of same one of same length okay here we go we have got both of the vectors so now i have n arrays n rectangle sorry of width is int h comma w sin h comma w so what i will gonna i will take at h comma h height and width it will be gonna sum h into w because at the end of the because in the solution what we need is the summation of the subs of this area that is h comma w okay now i'm gonna apply this it can be maximum of 10 to the power 3 because it is given in the question okay it can be maximum 10 to the power 3 but uh, so prefix of i comma j i already told you it will be prefix of i comma i minus 1 j minus 1 so it will be i minus 1 j minus 1 and subtract this portion okay i minus 1 prefix, sorry and prefix of i comma j minus 1 and we have subtract the common area prefix of i minus 1 j minus 1 plus that add the value at this position that is i comma j here we go now we are working on each of the query separately that is they are q queries i plus plus and for each queries i have h1 w1 comma h2 w2 we have cn h1 w1 h2 w2 so what will be the result so result will be prefix of h1 minus 1 h1 minus 1 w1 minus 1 and plus prefix of h2 comma h1 sorry h2 comma w2 and we have to subtract what the h1 minus 1 w2 prefix h1 minus 1 w2 minus prefix of prefix of h what is that h2 and w what is that w1 minus 1 c out rest okay here we go I am think this will gonna work. Let's see. Check it out. Oh man, this is braces. Where the I miss the braces? What the hell? All the braces are fine. It's line seventy one. Oh. Sorry for this. Sorry, come to me. Oh man, is this right? It is not. So answer will be gonna wanna be six, but it is comes out that one. So let me check. We have n comma two. So let debug together, okay? So we have a and prefix. We have just taking h and n all are, and for each h comma w, I'm gonna sum h. Okay. For i comma j, I can say that h and w are from one to thousand only. Mm, each value is zero, and I'm taking. So it will be ten to thousand plus ten. That is okay. For this one. I'm gonna take i minus one j i comma j is three 
minus three test cases. Okay, i minus one j and a i have i j minus one plus then minus i minus one j minus one. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, hundred percent fine. Then for Q queries, I have H1 W1, H2 W2. Let me see how these are given. H1 W1, H2 W2, and HB is smaller one. Let me see. HB is smaller. Oh, here is a trick. HB is greater one. Sorry guys, that's the. Yeah, it is now working fine. Six forty one nine. That's absolutely fine. Let me submit this. Oh yeah. 